Hello everyone. Today, I'm introducing you to the M.2 SSD adapter that can be plugged into the PCIe slot. The product I'm going to show you today is included with ARGB heatsink, which will make other ARGB devices and your PCs prettier. This product allows users, especially those who use the old motherboard without the M.2 SSD slot, to install the M.2 SSD and make your PC faster than before. Shall we take a look at the product composition? M.2 SSD PCIe adapter, silicone pad, ARGB heatsink, rubber band, screwdriver, and VDG adapter for gigabyte motherboard. Oh, there's a manual also. Let's start the installation now. Place two rubber band on top of the adapter and place the M.2 SSD on top of it and insert it well. The SSD used today is the crucial 500 gigabytes SSD. If you put it in well, place the silicone pad on top of it and secure it with screws. Then lift up the heat sink and gently press it with your hands to secure it from moving. Alright, that's it. Now, to operate the RGB, plug the 5 volts 3 pin connector into the 5 volts 3 pin ARGB header on the motherboard. If you have other devices, connect them with a splitter or a hub. Make sure to plug it into a 5 volts 3 pin header. You can't plug it into the 12 volts 4 pin header you see here. Now connect the power. Wow, that's cool. Now, let's test the speed through Crystal Disk Arc. As you can see, the reading speed is 1562 megabytes per second, and the temperature is 42 to 46 degrees. Now, let's measure the speed and temperature of the M.2 SSD inserted into the PCIe slot. As you can see, the reading speed is 2335 megabytes per second, and the temperature is maintained at 29 to 32 degrees. Benchmark results show that the heatsink kept the temperature low and the speed was slightly faster than the traditional M.2 SSD slot. It supports Windows XP, 7, 8, 10, no driver required. Please make sure this adapter only support M.2 NVMe SSD M key. What do you think everyone? Don't you want to try it? That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.